Hey there, Justin from Blaze. Today, you're gonna learn how to optimize your brand kit. And as you already know, Blaze makes marketing your business super easy by creating a brand kit that's trained on your website. But you can take things even further by refining or honing your brand kit. This will elevate the quality of the content that Blaze generates even higher. To access your brand kit, simply select brand kit from the sidebar. By default, you'll be in your source materials section. Here, you can manage your integrations, but you can also add links to web pages and upload files. Autopilot uses source materials to better understand your business, so consider adding links directly to your product pages, about us pages, and any other sites that Blaze can use to get a better understanding about your company. The files section can be used to upload text files like PDFs, text documents, and markdown files. Think style guides, brand voice documentation, positioning information, product one pagers, press releases, you get the idea. Consider adding in anything that is relevant for Blaze to know about your business. Moving on, we have images and videos. Here, you can use this section to add videos and images that you want Blaze to use when generating content for your brand. When you click it to open it up, it's going to show you some stock images that it thinks might work for your brand. You can also upload your own media, link to an image or video that's online somewhere, or search through the stock image library on your own and select a few options that work for your brand. Next is the brand profile. When you first started with Autopilot, Blaze generated this information based on its understanding about your business. Review it and make adjustments as needed to further hone Blaze's understanding about your brand. Use the edit buttons adjacent to each of the sections to make adjustments. The styles and voice section is next. This section was also generated when you first signed up. Here you can review and edit each of the aspects of your visual identity, logos, colors, fonts, and more. You can also review and edit various characteristics about your brand voice. And just like before, the edit button will trigger a pop-up window that allows you to make changes. Once you've made any adjustments, click Save to confirm those. Content Preferences allows you to configure the type of content that Autopilot will generate for you. On my screen, I have text, image, and videos all selected. But if I didn't want video posts, for instance, I could deselect it. You can use the Brand Kit Media Priority section to tell Blaze whether you want to only use content in your Brand Kit, only stock images in the Stock Image Library, or the Brand Kit content first and the Stock Image Library second. Some users have an extensive library of media content and don't want to use stock images or videos. This is where those users would want to go to make that adjustment. At the bottom of the page is the Content Preferences category. Here you can outline specifics about the content that Blaze generates for you. If you want Blaze to avoid topics, phrases, or words, you can outline them here. Same with domains. You can specify domains that you want Blaze to avoid referencing, like your competitors. You could also add in hashtags and blog keywords that you routinely use. Adding those here will make sure Blaze knows about them when it generates your content. The last things that you should consider when optimizing your brand kit is the Add More Context feature. This button acts as a shortcut to many of the popular functions in the various categories that we just explored. You can use this button to save time and get to those items quickly. Now that you've learned how to optimize your brand kit in Blaze, you can take your content even further. And if this video helped you at all, give it a like. Also, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on all the ways that Blaze can help you grow your business.